In the today's video, I'm going to talk about the basics of organizing. What is an organized home? Eight reasons that can sabotage staying organized. 11 type of organizing containers. 10 solutions to get and stay organized. What is an organized home to me? It's a lifestyle where an effective system is in a place that supports me throughout the day and when I do tasks or I want to rest. A home where I feel at ease, peacefully enjoying fun activities, but it is not overwhelming or overstimulating by stuff all around the floor and surfaces. An organized home is where I don't have to look for things and stumble over objects left on the floor. A home is a place where I like to recharge, rest, enjoy my hobbies, cook, learn new things and enjoy spending time with my family. An organized home doesn't mean I'm on the call all day to guard the perfect state, but rather it's manageable and has an easy reset between changing tasks and activities. A simplified home that is organized has an easy reset and supports the whole family to function as its best reduces the unnecessary tasks of looking for things or clean up the surfaces just before I want to do something because that will generate a procrastination in me if I have to clean up before I have to do something. It is so much easier to start to cook in a kitchen that is ready instead of the one that takes a day and a half to reset. What can sabotage to achieve an organized home? I'm going to share with you eight red flags that you can spot this problem. Too much stuff, not letting the amount out of the home as it comes in. That's an ultimate sabotager that can hold you back to stay organized. Inefficient methods to organize. I will share more on that as what are the solutions later in this video. Not having boundaries for our space. As we need boundaries as a person, our home has its limits. Respecting our home will serve us better. Things scattered all over the house without a place they belong. Not clear where it belongs. It belongs to the entryway. There are hooks, shelves baskets and labels to make it clear the next thing that was sabotaging me and still can <laughs> it's hard to put it back if it requires more than one move less likely i will put it back and i'm guilty on that because if i get creative concentrating on the creation and i just don't put things back right away i just not wired that way <laughs> and that is something you can train your brain i'm sure but it's just never worked for me because I go with the creative flow but I do it afterwards and if it's easier to put it back to its place then I more likely I will do it it's too aesthetic meanwhile I love the cohesive look in any room I have to pick the battle if it's worth it and how many people in my family use it besides how much it's cost. <laughs> my pantry is more organized because I get to see the food better and I get more creative. It simplifies things for my eyes that way but I'm the only one that is maintaining it. I've got two boys they don't care about the look they care about the function and it is hard for them to remember for the extra steps to make it cute therefore there is there are areas that look better than the other ones but the function has to have a flow dividing the legos or candies by colors can look beautiful i've seen videos like that it is beautiful to us it was too much work for the aesthetic we just need that function if you like it you can do it just find the true worth of the hassle and see how far you want to go with it i draw my line with my glass jars 
because that's how much I care and I like to put energy in. Space is not used well. Creating space to store in an efficient way can reduce the mess solutions for these problems. Let's start out with the container types. Let me introduce you to all the containers that is out there and how they can serve you and then I will move on to how I use them. Bin. Consistent in size to fit the shelves. Better to be labeled. Great for keeping less used items and gathering alike items together. I try not to overuse it for aesthetic reasons because inside of the closet it's harder to find things. Um, if it's just a few bigger items, I let them be without a bin. Bins are great to keep lots of alike items in one designated spot. I will really love to use them in my pantry. Um, that's that's a great way to gather all the dried goods and just refill them when I need to in the jar but I keep them in a bin. Stocking storage. Using a space vertically I can get a lot more use of the cabinet or shelves. It is better to keep less used item in the bottom. Christmas ornaments, old pictures, keepsakes, out of season items, refills. These are the things that I like to stack. Specific storage. Think twice before purchasing it. It can be either very helpful or a waste of money if you cannot use it properly. I had this shallow drawer in my Amazon cart for months when I put the trigger to buy it and I tried it and I find that very useful for my art materials. It would be wasted in my home but in my studio it will be essential. Basket. A very warm looking decorative way to hide things. It can be anywhere. To keep things close by that are indeed used in a random places. It can gather keys, remote control, rubber bands. <laughs> also they are a great divider in a drawer. I like to use them for that. Second hand stores always have unique pieces to offer. Caddy. It works well to transport things. I use it in our bathroom as we can't use our cabinets under the sink. I have to take my stuff from the cabinet to the bathroom counter. So it has a divider that helps to sort things but it is very easy to grab and carry. I also have one that holds the hair clipping tools. Excellent when you have little ones you can put art supplies as you keep an eye on them when they use it. <laughs> Once they are done with that it can be put back into the cabinet. Tray. Multiple purposes on the counter top or dresser. It can pull together smaller random things and um, a decoration to give a more organized, gathered and elegant look. Sometimes I use a drawer organizer as a tray. It doesn't have to be a tray, just, a f just flat enough to pull items together and it gives a more cohesive look to it. Box. I personally love paper boxes. They don't have the weird smell of like the plastic containers. They are less toxic the way and can be stored flat when I don't need them. I love their shapes. They are more efficient than any other plastic containers due to the more straight and sharp design. The downside is that, that they can wear off faster than the plastic ones, but I do have good results with mine. These are all from IKEA. Some of them are I have for almost two decades or 17 or 18 years. It is better for some of the stuff to be kept in a paper box as they can breathe and don't collect mold inside like pictures and books. Downside if it gets water from the outside it gets wet inside so <laughs> only use this for internal storage. Collapsible. They are good for temporary storage as it saves space but I can pop them open as needed. Drawer units. I have a few wooden drawers. They are from IKEA. 
I collect items in there that would be in the junk drawer. Scissors, paper, pen, office supplies, ribbons, glue, tapes, etc. It has a very attractive sweet look that I love. It can be personalized with stickers or just painting them and labeling them, but it frees up space in the cabinet and kitchen drawers as every bit of a space counts in the kitchen dividers dividers are great in drawers as i'm looking for to specify the space and it helps for the stuff to not slide back and forth fine tuning of the organization in the drawer we have two kinds of dividers and one of them is just little containers and i can just adjust by organizing them by the size the other one is more flexible for different situations and i can adjust uh, a different section lazy susan it is perfect for all sorts of condiments and canned foods this approach saves space and makes items easier to find and more accessible solutions to get organized and find a place for everything one shallow shelves on hidden walls uh, deep cabinets are not necessarily the best solution for every storage deep cabinets can swallow quickly big bins and boxes and things are getting pushed to the back they will be forgotten very soon and become an invisible clutter it is in the closet and not as obvious as the clutter pile on the counter and clutter will attract more clutter and i have to deal with a massive closet of stuff shallow shelves are can be in hidden places weird odd walls and gives the opportunity to spread out the things i want to use in my case supplements were the biggest issue to solve with the problem if me not seeing the labels if it was in the drawer i only saw the lid if i organized them in boxes they were covering each other deep cabinets weren't the solution either as i only saw just the front row these shallow shelves don't take up that much space and uh, we can get around them easily another area i use shallow shelves is my pantry the same reason i want to spread out and see all the dried goods i have and to find them easily and grab them with one move the third place i have shallow shelves is a little area in the kitchen that has a high traffic and an empty wall but also the breaker is on the wall too furniture would be too big other shelves would be sticking out uh, with the corner as we go in and out so it would be in the way these little shelves hold all the tea the cups tray glasses and everything that goes with serving a tea to a friend in one place and they can help themselves too without needing to look for the teas in the hundreds of the jars um, in the pantry zone organizing i created this method in the kitchen to have an easier morning as we crossed each other's way doing different tasks creating an area for food prepping between the sink and the pantry is helpful as both these places i reach often to make the meal another area is organized where the plates are stored close to the drying rack to make it easy to put it away baking tools are close to the oven and to the countertop where i roll out the dough pots stored underneath the cooktop bread making machine slicing machine is one drawer in the corner i use them boundaries for my home as a person i had to learn boundaries for not to overwork myself learn to say no and many more these created boundaries are keeping me healthy and the same applies for the home a home needs boundaries too as it has limits when these boundaries overstepped the home will not function in full capacity because it's in surviving mode i think twice about what i bring in and what i have to let go of declutter 
it's free <laughs> the only way to get and stay organized clutter is a procrastinated decision and it is in the way of getting organized before buying containers i consider if it's worth it i gather the alike items and i ask myself is it worth it to buy this pricey container to store these just in case items the items were not worth as much as the container gathering alike items i like to gather all the birthday related items together even though i don't use the balloons and the birthday decor in my kitchen i keep them with the cake decor baking stuff and birthday candles it makes more sense to me to have them together rather than store the balloons in a random place around the house where i'm not going to even remember where they are as i don't need them as often have a place for everything if they don't have a place to be, they will be on hot spots in the house. Hot spots are where we tend to throw things without thinking twice, just to put them down. Usually flat surfaces, kitchen countertops, dining tables, above the washing machine, etc. Labels they have very important purposes they designate a spot for the items and force a storage system helps family to find things revisit and fix there's nothing wrong with changing things around it keeps my mind creative as i'm thinking of solutions and as a result we get better and more simple solutions sometimes i change it back if the last one worked better hooks hooks are an amazing way to keep things off of the floor and also adding extra storage to any room because they don't take up any space on the floor so you don't need any furniture and then you can make it more attractive with some cute bags organize as the best for you and for your family there's no one size fits all and there's a pressure to look a certain way if it makes sense for you organize it that way grab out ideas that will lead you to your own solution if you like neutral colors matching containers have fun with it and then enjoy the result of a calming environment if you like bold colors there are many boxes or just a simple paint that can give a boost to get organized one thing i didn't understand back in the days when i looked magazines showrooms pinterest pictures all the storage systems looked beautiful then i had an aha moment they were using less stuff that i would realistically use for the storage making the storage look full of potential to have more space and they used same color than same type of clothing as a prop same type of shoes so that gave a cohesive look to it which i understand because they want to sell the product but i was comparing my stuff that i used every day to the prop stuff <laughs> I just wanted to point that out because I never understood why my shelf in the closet and other places never looked like on the pictures. It is beautiful, but being organized is beyond the look. It's about how we function. Is it easy to maintain? Is it easy to clean the house that way? Does it align with my everyday life? Everybody has their own unique life with their own unique needs. So organize in a way that serves you and not the other way around where you are stressful counting items for the sake of the title of being either minimal or having the most Here's a playlist and my latest video. If you wanna watch it, you can just click on it. Thank you so much for watching until the end and I will see you soon in the next one. Bye!